everyone. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another episode of My Orchid Adventures and I'm so glad you guys have visited me here today. What we're going to be talking about are these Habanaria orchids and exactly what are we to do after they have absolutely finished blooming. So now we're going to prepare them into their slumber, into their hibernation or what is also called the dry or drier winter's rest. And the Habanarias that we are going to be using in today's episode is the Habanaria medusa and also the Habanaria rhodochila. So with this Habanaria rhodochila right here, I went ahead and cut off her spike about two weeks ago because all of the blooms had already faded and the spike was no longer needed. And this is the Habanaria medusa and as you can see right here, this appears to be the final bloom that has faded. Although I'm not quite sure because as you see here, it looks like maybe a bloom or two might be in the makings. I'm really not sure. But you know what? I don't think it's worth waiting because we are now into the autumn season, which means that this plant will begin to die off and the leaves and the foliage will begin to discolor and they will actually drop, which means that is the sign that it is going into its hibernation and we should begin to give it its dry or drier winter's rest. Now in the meantime before we start seeing those signs of discoloration in the leaves and also the dropping of the leaves we are to continue to water because the green actually indicates that it is still growing and what exactly is still growing? The actual tuber underneath this media. So now that is what we should be focused on because that is going to determine exactly the plant presentation and also the bloom presentation it gives in the following year. So because we are going to be focused on the growth of the tubers underneath here, we are going to go ahead and remove this spike now. Okay, so here we are and this is going to be our cutting point right here. We're just going to go ahead and cut it just like that. And as you can see, the spike is all gone. So we are not going to be focusing any more energy on this useless spike right here. And that energy is now going to go to the tubers. Much needed growth still on the tubers, right? We want that tuber as healthy as possible. So again, just as long as this orchid's leaves are green, we are going to continue to water as normal. And the only time that we are going to stop watering this orchid is when we actually see the discoloration and the dying off of this entire plant. And that is a great indication, of course, that we can now stop watering the orchid. And after that, folks, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove the actual media and also the tuber underneath because I want to see exactly how that tuber is growing because I do want to tell you guys that they do say that when you are planting up one of these habanarias you want to make sure that the actual pot has good depth and height to the pot because the actual tuber itself can get pretty large so indeed I want to go ahead and check out exactly how large or perhaps even how small depending on the health of the orchid and I want to see exactly what we're going to do with that tuber and also the size of the pot that we want to plant it in next year. So that's what we're going to do folks. Again, continue to water just as long as it's green and once it dies off, that is when we're going to stop watering during our storing and hibernating of our tuber. That watering is no longer required so you do not have to water this orchid at all. Now of course if you are worried about the orchid and you want to spritz it down just a tiny tad bit to give it that extra moisture then of course you can do that but I would suggest do not water it on a regular basis and definitely do not water it regularly because of course you risk rotting out the new tuber in which you would lose the entire orchid. And if you do notice that there is no breakdown in the media and the media is still of good grade, you can actually opt to use the same media in the following year. So you can keep that tuber in here and grow it up in the springtime. Now, if you do want to start from scratch, that is also up to you. And you can also take up the tuber and store it in a safe, dry place and then choose to repot it up during the springtime. Again, that is totally up to you on how you want to repot this habanaria. Also, as a side note, if you do intend to unpot your orchid, 
please do not fret and do not panic if you actually see a rotted tuber in there. Because this is a natural process that our harbinarias do go through. The initial tuber actually will die off and rot away. But you should, if everything has went well with your habanaria, you should have a tuber or maybe two or three if you're lucky that will be of good substance and also of good health. And those are the tubers that will grow in the following season. So again, don't panic if you see an actual rotted away tuber. That is actually something you should expect. And here's just another tip to repotting or potting up your tuber. You want to pot up that tuber nearer to the surface. You definitely don't want to pot up that tuber too deep because when you pot it up too deep, too much moisture or too much water can be retained where it could possibly rot out that tuber. Also, you don't want to make it too difficult for the orchid to come up to the surface because you don't want to make it too difficult for that little guy to have to work and waste all of its energy in trying to find the surface you definitely want it to be an easy process for the orchid to break through and then it can focus on growing to its greatest potential and once the overwintering process is complete and done and over with and that's usually going to be in your spring months you will begin to notice that a pointed new growth will grow and emerge from the tuber and once that happens you either want to go ahead and repot the orchid or if the orchid is already potted and it's medium either way you want to go ahead and start watering the orchid sparingly and sparingly is the key word you want to go ahead and spritz it down around the actual orchid just to provide it enough moisture but you definitely don't want to overwater it because that is going to risk rotting out the tuber and of course losing out on that orchid so sparingly again is the key word and the only time that you would begin to water this orchid on a regular basis as you normally would is when this orchid is at a good size and you do notice that the foliage is thriving and flourishing. And if you can provide these things for your habanaria orchid, indeed you will have a successful habanaria blooming season. Thank you guys so much and I will see you guys and also grow with you guys later. Love you all. Mwah.